Hi, I'm Leanne, and I'm so excited to share with you my new Sims 4 makeup series. Part 1, I'm going to be using a collection of three different palettes to create this beautiful look and some cream um, gel liners from ColourPop. So I hope you really enjoy this. Um, I'm going to be doing this series every Friday, so make sure you subscribe so you can tune in. As always, we're going to start with a white jumbo eye pencil just to give us a nice base so our colors really pop and stand out. This is completely optional, but I just wanted um, a nice matte base um, for my other eyeshadows because they are going to be shimmery. So I just picked up a nice brown eyeshadow and I basically blended that from my brow bowl all the way down to my lid. So the eyeshadow portion of this look is somewhat simple but it's still nice enough to pull the whole look together. So what I did was started uh, mixing two light purples from the Tokyo Plum palette and the Low to Radiance palette and I just packed this all the way from my brow bone to my lid and then I picked up a pink eyeshadow from the Low to Radiance palette and I placed this on top. Now um, this look is from a luxury party pack from the Sims 4 collection and if you've seen this eyeshadow look before it's kind of shimmery um, and nice and then it has you know the dots all on the side so what I really did was focused on the shimmer up on the brow bone and the crease area just to make those areas stand out a little bit more next we're going to create sort of an halo part of the eyeshadow look but kind of like we're defining the crease so it's like a halo crease look you know something cool but anyway you want to start with a nice light purple you don't want to do something that's too dark but you do want it to be darker than the eyeshadow base just so you can start working on that area and as you keep going you just want to gradually increase the color until it gets darker and darker but you do want to still work with um purple shades you don't want to go in with the black because it might look a little bit too harsh but you do want to do it with the purples in between every step of you know gradually increasing the darkness of the purple you do want to go in with the fluffy brush and blend everything out so it's not just a harsh line but it does look really nice and blended And now, so you have a nice placement for your lashes, I'm just going to take a black eyeshadow and I'm going to lightly and ever so slightly line um, my upper lash line just to give it a little bit of depth. To work on my lower lash line, I'm first going to go in with ColourPop's Cry Baby Gel Eyeliner and I'm just going to put this on my waterline because if you look at the eyeshadow look, it's like um, it's really light and then it goes dark and then it goes light again. So I'm going to put a nice light eyeliner on my waterline and then I'm going to work with um, darker eyeshadows just to smoke out the bottom and then I'm going to go back in with that pink and purple eyeshadows to smoke it out even more.
Now for the fun part, I'm going to be taking a mixture of ColourPop's Crybaby and Exit um, gel liners and I'm just going to be making dots all the way up from my upper brow all the way down to the lower portion of my eye area and I'm just going to try to make a different variety of sizes from big to small and just put it everywhere so that it looks nice. And then for some fun, I'm just going to be picking up M Cosmetics Sparkling Top Coat in Fairy Glimmer. And I'm just going to place this all over on top of the dots so that they stand out a little bit more. And it's a little bit more fun for me. I had so much fun creating this look. This is really nice and different to do. As a reminder, I will be doing this series every Friday, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you like this video. And uh, leave a comment down below if you want me to continue this series, and I'll see you soon.